Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to play Shaco with the strongest rune, strongest build. We have Hell, Blade Sun, Impact, Eyeball with Ravenous, secondary runes, free boots, and approach velocity. Shaco has a lot of different issues going on right now. He has a lot of different bad item builds that will hurt your clear speed. And then he has other item builds that are just wonky. I prefer a mix of the two. It's going Sunfire Aegis into Titanic gives you outrageous clear speed and it gives you outrageous damage. So uh, I should have actually gotten a box down to uh, to defend. I was just too busy talking. But yeah, you should get a box down no later than the 34 second mark. And uh, then you're going to lay your first box or like at the 51 second mark on your first camp. Ideally, you do get a leash because you'll take less damage and it will speed things up. And uh, since we started late, obviously, we laid our first box at like 53, 54 seconds. So... That's gonna hurt us a little bit. It's not gonna be the end of the world. You'll still get to see just how strong Sunfire Aegis Shaco really is. We're gonna get our third box down right here. Normally you just set up your third box for your Gromp, but it looks like we are gonna get a leash, which is pretty neat. We're gonna let our boxes tank. And now we're gonna move straight to Gromp. We're gonna get Q for its damage. Also, if the enemy jungler shows up, since Shaco doesn't take flash, you'll get fucked up if you don't have your Q. It'll be really, really bad. With the box tank a hit. Bop him in the back, and then we'll jump away. He'll burn out. Nice, nice. Full HP still. We're going to toss a box down, run up, hit him in the back. Then he's going to get feared away. I'm going to let the box tank, those two smaller ones. Bop it in the back. Do it in between your autos. Don't cancel an auto to use your Q. going to lay another box down. Hit the big one, preferably hit everything in the back for max damage and for max healing. We're going to go over to our wraps now. Our W is on cooldown. Nunu is one of Shaco's hardest matchups since he can consume your box. It's really annoying. We're going to use our E early against the Raptor. I canceled an auto attack there. It's tragic. We're going to get another box down and just let the box finish them off. Looks like he did start on my red buff, that sucks. We can look for a top lane gank. If Nar can get some more damage on him in particular, I assume I stepped on a ward. It's really annoying that Nunu took that. Typically gonna do a five camp clear into Scuttle. In this case, uh, we're not going to since he took our red buff. So now we're just on a forced four camp clear. We're gonna hold on to our E, slow its movement speed. Whenever your E is uh, not off of cooldown, it's like whenever it's ready to use, your auto attacks will slow by 20% for two seconds. Helps you take Scuttle. Just holds it still for you. It moves ridiculously slow. Q out here. I think he knows I'm here. The way he's reacting. Hit him with three autos and a dagger. I'm gonna box down on myself. I don't think Nunu realizes that. He was forsa forsaken. I'm gonna flash away. He should die from the. Oh, I must have smited something. He should have died there. I think me and Ari both ignited at the same time, which is unfortunate. Defensive boxes will often save you in awkward 2v2s. I might actually be able to kill this Draven. Uh, he's pretty strong. Yeah, he's just gonna run away. Got him. He greeted out. Your E has massive execute damage if they are below half HP. We're gonna go ahead and reset now. Your first item that you wanna get on Shaco is typically gonna be the Bomby Cinder. They've even nerfed Sunfire Aegis, but it's still one of his best builds, high summon rate builds, one of his fastest clear builds, because if you don't get Tiamat, so here's your options. You either need Tiamat or you need the whip. You need Iron Spike Whip, Tiamat, or some or Bombie Cinder. If you don't have any of those, your clear speed is trash. You know, your only other option is going AP Shaco. Because his boxes are a bit better since they scale off of AP, but AP Shaco jungle isn't that fantastic right now. Keep bopping him in the back and with the knee. Let our box tank. Very nice. We'll just play around our bot lane. 
camp our easiest lane possible. The enemies are making it easy on us. I should have Oracle Lens right now. I don't know why I still have my Warding Totem. I'm gonna queue out, try to get behind them. I'm gonna get down in early box, try to block off the rail, get on top of the Draven. I have to hit him with an E before I wanted to because I can no longer reach it with my auto attacks. Double kill, very nice. Bot lane is typically one of your better lanes to gank, especially if they have CC. I tried to let her get it, very nice. Since Shaco has such powerful slows, it holds him still with his auto attacks. And now having your two bot laners hit someone sets them up for your E execute quite nicely. I'm gonna get a box down and try to auto him into it. Box is gonna tear off the shield. Still gonna try to push him towards the box. Box does a lot of damage. Very nice. Got Scuttle. Nunu's top side. You don't typically want to try to solo dragons on Shaco until you're level 6, though. So. My E's on cooldown, so I'm not getting the. I'm going to juke that out. That was really greedy for Fizz to go for. Throwing Fizz Sharks at Gas Champions is super uh, bold, to say the least. We'll wait for our, red, for our uh, blue buff to come. Got to come in behind, hit him in the back. Bomby Cinder might not seem like much, but it really, especially on Wolves, Raptors, and Golems, makes a huge difference. You won't really see the difference on single target camps too much. Once we're six, we'll go for that uh, dragon. It's really easy once you're six. You won't even take any damage. Your clone will tank it while you're perma backstabbing dragon. Very nice. I'm gonna go to my red buff. I assume it's down. Nunu might have taken it again. Cause he's annoying. Nars really far behind. Yeah, Nunu took everything. That's obnoxious. I'll, I'll just check the red buff real quick. He might have left that one raptor there a while ago. Okay, this still up. Thank God. Yeah, Nars super far behind. So there's a chance Darius comes in my jungle. I'm gonna have to stay vigilant in this bush. I'll walk over here, hit it in the back. Try to let my box tank if possible. Just keep my HP as high as you can. Got execute damage, got the backstab damage. Your auto attacks in here, you both do bonus damage from behind. We can look for a big kill now. We could even do Herald if we really want to. Lay down a defensive box. That is awarded over there. So uh, he'll see us coming. We do need Sweeper. After your first back, you really want Sweeper on Shaco. Sweeper's really good on him. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down another box here. Might as well, just in case things new new comes up, we'll have double fear. Kind of layered them out, so if he runs past that one after he gets feared, he'll get feared back into it. Darius is pretty low on health. I might actually be able to kill him. I'm gonna have to make sure he doesn't hit me with his Q. He's two levels up and he has tier two boots. Tier two boots, so this will be Interesting to say the least. He doesn't know who to go for. Got him. With our ignite and clone on him, we hit him with that E execute as well. We don't want to shove the wave, I'm just trying to freeze it. We'll send him that way. We'll bring the clone back to us. I was trying to bring it to the golems. Once your clone's too far away from you, it automatically teleports back. So if you're trying to Cut the slack, just push him away and move in the opposite direction. We're gonna go ahead and reset here. We can get full Sunfire Aegis, we'll be super strong. Then we can get Titanic Hydra. Our clears will stay strong throughout the game and uh, it doesn't hurt you at all. Sunfire Aegis is just super strong on Shaco. Damage over time, plus it's uh, flame touch is kind of ridiculous. Works well with your clone too. We going bot here in a moment. If you can manage to build a lead on Shaco, that's when you can start doing things. So if you get a few smart ganks off in the early game, that's how Shaco's played optimally. He doesn't play from behind very well because he doesn't have very much CC. Soundfire Aegis now. We'll go for plated steel caps. You can go for Berserker Greaves. Typically, if you're gonna get Tiamat or like if you don't have any kind of AOE, you kind of need Berserker Grief so you can clear your camps better. 
spot against their team. They're pretty AD heavy. They have the Draven, Darius. So uh, probably just get the Maya out. Played still caps, WQ over the wall. We're gonna max our Q second, Q last. I have tried the Gale Force Shaco. Wasn't impressed. One issue with Gale Force Shaco is your early clears are trash because you don't have any AOE from your items. Even though Gale Force is strong on Shaco, I'm not crazy about it. Slow get on with my autos. I'm gonna use my R. <laughs> I used it a bit late. Got snared. I don't think we can kill him. Not with a dive right now. Rail's over here too. He's probably gonna walk into me. She's gonna walk into everything. I think we're gonna get fizz. We're gonna we'll get some damage on him though. He's slowed. I'll get my Oh yeah, Ari's charms on cooldown. Never mind. My ult's back up. We can go for dragon. We'll go for a scuttle in the meantime. If you don't want to go Sunfire Aegis, I'd recommend going Gore Drinker or Gale Force. Those are shit goes two other strong mythics. Dustblade isn't bad on him, but it's just not. Unless you're really far ahead, Dustblade is pretty garbage on Shaco, honestly. You need to be really far ahead. Mm. Yeah, it's also nice not taking much damage from turrets with the extra armor. Our ult's coming back up. We'll take our blue buff, and then we'll uh, grab Dragon. We have... Our, our uh, Herald to lay here too. We have nine seconds. Wasted my ward there. Oh well. I don't even know if we can take Dragon now. Nunu doesn't have full item. I should be stronger than he is. Also, I have Ignite. Try to hold on to my E. I'm using my R. My igniter. I still have my ease and execute, but once again, in fights against champions, generally you don't want to use it unless it's going to kill them, since if they are below 30% HP, it blasts them so hard. It's generally a waste to use before 30% HP. They know I'm over here because it was warded. So Fizz might even try to ult me from here. Stepped on that pink ward. Ooh. We got my box down. Hopefully that'll scare Darius away. We got his ghost out. That's really good. Chico's boxes are typically used better defensively. But if you are trying to assassinate someone, you'll just W. Q to them. W on top of them like this. And then auto them down. Your autos will slow them enough to where it lands. 300 damage. It's magic damage too. Even if you build AD on Shaco. That was a lot. That's why you max your E first, guys. That's a lot of damage. Leave a box over here for some vision. Nunu is dead, but I don't have smite, so I'll use my E as my smite. Regardless of the monster, you should be trying to hit it in the back. On Dragon, it's kind of awkward, but as long as you move them between your autos. Like, I'm still landing most of these as backstabs. I'm going to go ahead and reset now, and uh, we could get Tiamat or Tier 2 Boots. Either one's fine here. I'd kind of rather get Tiamat, and then I'll get my Tier 2 Boots after. Our clear speed is insanely fast. We have a lot of CS for Shaco Jungle without going Sunfire Aegis or without rushing Tiamat. Either or. His clear speeds are terrible. Terrible, terrible. That's why some Shaco players just go AP Shaco Jungle because they don't want to build those items, but you just need to realize Sunfire Aegis is strong and you should abuse it. Even Clyde builds it. Clyde top. A lot of bruisers or melee champions in general can take really good advantage of it. Blue some items down with my autos. I'm gonna have to get the fuck away from this guy. He got his full hemorrhage stacks off a of Gnar, so he's gonna eat me alive. I'm gonna send him the other way to get him to catch back up. Yeah, this Gnar is really struggling. 
That's really annoying. I should have my smite. The fact that Darius is trying to fight me for this is obnoxious. Because if I had smite, it's like, what's he going to do? It's really, really deep. Play a defensive box. I guess he knows I don't have smite. He's got 500 IQ. He's a smart guy. We still need our Oracle lands. I don't know why we haven't bought that yet. It's a huge mistake. The two biggest mistakes we made this game was not getting a box down 34 second mark for defense and not getting Oracle lands. <laughs> That's pretty tragic. Pretty tragic. Smite up. We could solo Draven. We can solo anyone on their team except for the Darius. Heavy Thanos champs like Akali, Darius, Mordekaiser, Garen. You're never really gonna be able to solo them with Shaco. He's the wrong kind of champ for that. We can take care of this guy though. We got a box on his head. Never mind, he's sped up. He's too fast. I'm gonna leave. This whole team is missing. They're likely to just converge on me here. I'm gonna R out right on his head now. If you are while you're invisible, they'll attack your R because that's the first thing they see. Gotta run away. I have my Q too. Hit him with the he wasted his hook. I'll give Zaya a defensive box to play around. It's gonna make it really hard for him. Ooh, she's going she's going a little deep. Darius is fucked. He's so screwed. As long as he doesn't land a fat Q here. Bop him with an E. Oh, I didn't get the kill. Oh well. <laughs> that was really close. We'll go ahead, bat, pick up, play the steel caps. Tier 2 boots, super important. And uh, we'll build straight into Titanic. After Titanic, you're going to want to go for uh, Sterix. Sterix is really big. Once you have one or two tank items, being the Aegis in Titanic, it's going to give us high value. After that, we can even get Collector. Just your core items on. Shaco's essentially best highest win rate build right now are tank items, but you can always round off your build with uh, Higher damage stuff. No shame in that especially if you're ahead. I think this game's wrapped up honestly I don't think they can come back. I'm too fed. I got my mid lane ahead and uh, My bot lane as well. I couldn't really help Nar. We just had to Kind of leave him top lane. Nar was dying too much. Darius was constantly full HP to where it would have been bad for our team if I would have tried to help the Gnar. I still don't have Oracle Lens. Yikes. Where are they at? We'll get a deep box on them. Took a little ward. Nunu's going ham. He's going to get himself killed. Never mind. Phase Rush OP. Could be farming our camps right now. It's fair to say. But uh, I'm just waiting for Draven or someone to step out here. Yeah, just jump over the walls. Waiting until Nunu got closer. I didn't want Nunu to cut off my escape route. Yeah, that's whatever. We got Dragon coming up here. Uh, it's actually good if they kill your clone. I'm just using it to body block right now. <laughs> He's blowing up on them. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hit him with my Ian Blue Smite. He's a goner. Block off the Darius with my box. It's kind of funny. It's a shame uh, Ari died, but can't have it all right. I don't know how they're... Ooh. What is he doing, though? I'll hit him with an early E. I'll get a d defensive W down. I have my smite and Nunu's not here. Yeah, he's gonna walk in my box, hit him with I wasted my I wasted my smite on Darius. That was an accident. <laughs> I was just trying to use my ig ignite there. Realistically one with dragon's not the end of the world, but still not ideal. Let's wrap this game up. Probably get this turret. Ooh, Draven. That wall's looking thick, boy. An R already on his head. 
We'll just pull off. When things get too hairy, just let your clone do the work. And then you can pull him back to you when he gets too far away. Just like so. I'll use him to blow up on this. We'll do a kamikaze. Never mind. I accidentally pulled him to me. I went too far. That's fine. Ooh, he didn't finish it. That naughty little box. Building up a nice lead here. We'll be able to get our Titanic Hydra very soon. If not right now, actually. Awesome. Ari's going to get pinched here. Whenever you're the farthest one up on the map, the enemy team's going to come to knock your peg in. My box down. Probably doesn't know if... Ooh, I'm actually in a bad spot here. Fizz probably doesn't want to R me because he's afraid I'll R, but... Yeah, I'm dead. We tanked a lot for our team, though. I wish I had my R. That would have been a lot easier. That's one nice thing about Shaco, though. If you're going full assassin, Shaco, if you get hit by one CC or if you're out of position, you can die really easily. With tank Shaco, you take so much aggro because you'll be able to survive for several Q cycles. We have our Titanic now. We'll go for our Sterix Gauge. And then we can get Executioners. We could get Collector. Collector is insanely good on Shaco, whether you're tank or assassin. Against their team, I kind of just want to go Executioners right now. They have the Darius heal, Draven healing items, uh, Nunu Q heal, obviously. Draven shoving mid as we're taking their base. He doesn't want it back because we've been winning the fights. He doesn't want to die and spoil his KDA. Oh, what's going on over there? I can't really get there fast enough is the thing. Yeah, we just got wiped. We get a box down, we'll take his camps. No clue why we're trying to surrender. It was honestly a huge overstay. Especially against Nunu, you don't want to be caught near their uh, their spawn end point. Nunu will do a massive speed up from Fountain. Land an easy all in. Draven's probably going to come for this red buff, I would imagine. He has to. There's nowhere else for him to go. He's probably right there. Eh, nearly killed him. He's going to send him back to base. I didn't want to use my R. His teammates are nearby. I didn't think I was going to be able to kill him. I just got closer than I was expecting to. Could go chew up that Darius. Use a box along the way. Take this. Very nice. Awesome. Should take off his shield. I'll execute it. And there's Fizz again. He's looking for another uh, beat down. Blue smite him, stay on top of him with our autos. Yeah, he's dead. And his R doesn't do much damage because we're tanky. He doesn't have that all-in option against us. And people just want to try to get away from you because they, they realize that it's not a good idea. Wow, my box really took a sweet time there, didn't it? He just killed my clone. What a fool. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty nuts. It's honestly kind of crazy how tanky we are. And that's GG, guys. That's how you dominate on Shaco right now. If you enjoyed this Shaco jungle commentary guide, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. And feel free to come chat and show live on stream.